the search for Christopher Dorner. 33 year old Christopher Dorner, the ex LAPD officer who uh, apparently wrote this huge manifesto about wanting revenge against the LAPD and their family members, name specific targets, accused of killing three people thus far. Uh, the search for him, the manhunt, is coming to a head right now in the Big Bear area. Jessica. And Elizabeth, like you were mentioning, we don't know why they cut off the aerials, but we don't know if uh, Christopher Dorno has access to a television inside the cabin he's barricaded in. So it could kind of give Very him true. a sense of where the police are and, and um, where to hide. So there is probably a, a very good reason for that. Um, but again, we, we at this point don't know if, it, if the standoff is completely over, if um, they're inching closer to getting him. Not to mention earlier, uh, right before we broke in on the air with this, uh, we could hear coming in through our our feeds and we could see the video, the live aerial images, but we could hear the first gun battle going on between Dorner and authorities at that time. It was chilling. It was chilling to hear. You could hear what the police were saying. You could hear, um, I mean, to hear gunshots like that and know what an intense situation that is really is chilling to hear a dangerous situation for everyone involved. Yeah, there was definitely that frantic feeling. And as we mentioned, it wasn't just police officers on the scene. Initially, there was that reporter from KCAL that was there as gunfire broke out and they were telling them, telling him to get away. And so they've asked all reporters uh, to be very, very far from the scene because of the obviously safety reasons. Um, in addition to that, they've closed four schools. So uh, one of those schools is Big Bear High School and they've uh, shut down down several highways, including Highway 38 and uh, 330. So if you're in that area, just stay in your homes, lock your doors, and uh, just make sure you're as safe as possible. You know, here's what we know so far about Christopher Jordan Dorner is that he is now accused of killing three people. He's accused as of today of taking two hostages inside a house. He's a very dangerous man, armed and dangerous in his manifesto. He said he was prepared to die. Police believe he is wanting to go out in the blaze of glory, uh, suicide by cop, and this is a very dangerous situation. Who knows what is next, what he'll do next. He was trained by the military. He was trained by the LAPD. He knows their tactics. He has survival skills. He apparently has been in the Big Bear. Well, we don't know for sure, but likely in the Big Bear area since his car was on fire late last week. Um, somehow moving without police being able to uh, locate him up until today when he broke into a home, allegedly took two people hostage. One was able to get away and call for police. Uh, a very, uh, a very intense situation going on right now in the Big Bear area. And Elizabeth, what's interesting about this is just an hour ago, uh, we believe police believed he might have gone to Mexico. He might have had an accomplice. So there was almost an understanding that in the Big Bear area, it was safe. People were. Um, the ski resorts there were saying business was uh, as usual. And, and they scaled back on right. the law enforcement up there looking for him because, again, there had been such an intense search for him for probably the past four or five days up in the Big Bear area, going door to door and going all the way out into the uh, government uh, uh, cabins, way out in the, uh, in the lookout towers, places like that looking for him, and no sign of him. I think a, a lot of law enforcement, I mean, they had over 100 law enforcement going door to door. Um, and, and it seemed like people were saying, you know, they, they, were, they were ready. Some, some of the people in Big Bear actually said they were getting their guns ready in case they um, ran into to That's Joyner. right. In fact, the, uh, was it the San Bernardino County Sheriff or maybe the Big Bear police chief had said he wasn't worried about his residents because they know how to use their guns. So almost saying as if they would take matters into their own hands. I will tell you, if you're up against what uh, is said to be of Christopher Dorner, a man heavily armed, very dangerous, it probably would be a good idea to have been armed for protection up in the Big Bear area over the past few days. As, as seen how uh, he apparently has broken into at least one cabin today and taken two people hostage. But again, one of those people was able to get away. Uh, this is a breaking story. This is happening live right now in the Big Bear area. We are trying to cover every single angle of this as we can as this unfolds today live on the air right here. Um, again, I'm Elizabeth Bobie and Jessica Flores here. We are going to stay on the air with you as long as we can today until this whole ordeal, the manhunt for Chris Dorner comes to an end. It looks like things are getting close as at least two gun battles have been, uh, have been going on between authorities and Dorner as uh, probably the past hour or two. 
Yeah, and we are we are getting every information as as it comes in. We're listening to scanners. I'm on Twitter right in front of you guys. We're we're reading any kind of information we can get. And what it seems like is that uh, law enforcement have surrounded a cabin. They have their weapons drawn. Um, they told us to take down the aerial um, aerial shots that we have because uh, police have requested that. We don't know exactly why, but as we were saying, it could be because Dorner has has a television maybe inside where he very well yeah. could you know um, many of these cabins are not just a uh, rustic woods cabin they're very well equipped with the modern day amenities such as a TV uh, so he very much could be watching uh, as many of the LA stations are also covering this with the same kind of live aerial images as we are he could very easily see as they zoomed in to the cabin where he's uh, alleged to be he could see how many officers are around him. That could help him plan or uh, decide what kind of uh, stance he will take next in this uh, standoff.